I found the fruit of the spirit door. You want go, no doubt, in Miss Walker. If it's the only way to bring back haunts. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. Hello. Hello, miss. My name's Kate Walker, and I come from New York. I'm Anna. Anna Vorlberg. I live here, in Valadilen. Are you Anna Vorlberg? Yes, miss. Vorlberg like... Like my father, Rodolf Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg and yourself are of the same family? Uh, uh yes. Or, uh, rather, um, I don't know. You are or you aren't. He's my friend, you know? Hans has no friends, miss. I would like to meet your father, Anna. At this time of day, he should be at home. Otherwise, he's always at the factory. Visitors aren't permitted to enter, though. Anna, do you know who this doll belongs to? No. But I know someone who'd definitely be interested in it. Are we near Valadilen? Yes, the town is down below. It's where I live with my father and brother. You know the Vorlberg factory? Yes, it belongs to our family. Have you got a brother? Yes, b but my father prefers me not to talk about him. Why not? Well, since his accident, my brother has changed. What's changed? Well, what's changed is that he has... I still love him, though. Where is he? Father sent him to the attic. He often punishes him. Hans does the most foolish things. <sighs> he must be real unhappy. Not at all. He gets a bit of peace up there. He invents automatons. Ones with no discipline, no method, as father might say. See you soon. See you, miss.
please. Mr. Varlberg, sir. Ah, you're the new chambermaid, I presume. Well, it's about time. I'll be giving you instructions when I get back from the factory, and until then... Ah, uh... uh, excuse me, sir, but I am not a servant. Well, uh, who are you, then? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a friend of your son, Hans. Look, miss. To my knowledge, Hans has no friends. That boy is a complete misfit. I can assure you I am, Mr. Wahlberg. Miss, the boy who yesterday was my son, today is but a puppet of himself, wound up in his strange obsessions and his queer pet hobbies. That boy only has one friend, and that friend is trouble. Would it be possible to see Hans, please? Impossible. He's being punished in the attic. Sir, it's very important. Miss, Hans has been sent to the attic until further orders. I don't want him getting up to any more harebrained mischief while I'm at the factory. You're going back to the factory, yes? Of course, like every day. Is Hans going with you? Not on my life. The boy has lost all sense of discipline and method. And discipline and method are the primary qualities of any self-respecting automaton manufacturer. Goodbye, Mr. Varlberg. Goodbye it is, Miss Walker. Thanks. Nothing I can do. It's locked. Anna? Yes? Do you know what time your father will return to the factory? Yes, at 7.15 exactly. Thank you very much.
Hans, I've got something that might interest you. The mammoth doll. Have you come a long way to be here, Kate Walker? Yeah, you could... I'm tired now, Kate Walker. I will never see the Isle of Siberia and the Great Mammoths. My life is slip... You mustn't say that, Hans. You've got to wake up to your... Do you believe that automatons are there to help us in our hour of need? Yeah. Sh this one's called Oscar. I created him. Of course I know Oscar. He's an old friend of mine. Yes, I know. Oscar is worried about you. You must open his heart for me. Can you do that? I don't understand, Hans. You've got to wake up now. Hans? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. I'm in a log cabin. Kind of a hunting den. There's fresh footprints. Kid Walker came by here not long ago. Several days at most. I would guess you must have gone fishing. Find something to eat. Found some clues here. Some strange kind of bait. Canton, I'm tired. I couldn't give Jack for your namby pamby clues. I want the girl, you hear me? Canton, I. Canton? Canton, answer me for Christ's sake! Canton! New York. Are you receiving me? Badly. Canton, speak up! I. Oh, Christ. There's a minor hitch, Marston. Make it a major one! Hi, Oscar. Kate Walker! But where have you been? I was, I confess, somewhat worried by your absence. But I'm here now, Oscar. Oscar! I found Hans at last! Ah! Excellent! And what did he say? Nothing. Nothing? But is he okay? No, Oscar. Hans is not okay at all. We've got to find some way of getting Hans back on his feet. Absolutely, Kate Walker. I just spoke with Hans, and... Oh, so he is better. I don't know. He said some strange things. That automatons had been created for a day when... Well, that... Maybe one day you'd open up your heart for him. 
Uh, uh, You okay, Oscar? Our efforts should be focused on getting the train down, Kate Walker. What did Hans mean by open up your heart? Each thing in its own time, Kate Walker. For now, let us concentrate on finding a way of getting the train into the Yukal village. Haven't you noticed, Oscar? The hillside is hollow, and the tracks lead right inside of it. Mm, yes, it is indeed a strange situation. The hill trembles, then a gate opens, and some of the local inhabitants exit. They even came right up to the train carrying a cable. I spoke to them most correctly, but they ran away. The room! I really don't see why. You've got to get us up and running and continue down the track. Impossible, Kate Walker. The engine springs need winding. I fear that we can advance no further, unless you expect to find a winding mechanism around here. I must say, I find it somewhat strange that Mr. Farrellberg had not foreseen that eventuality. Maybe he did. I get the impression the Yukels are afraid of you. And why? I am not afraid of them. They've probably never seen an automaton with your degree of perfection before, Oscar. Most certainly not. Automatons like me don't grow on algae, you know. Have you found a way of entering the cave, Kate Walker? Not yet. This mask symbolizes some sort of friendly spirit for the Yukels. Maybe if you were to wear it, the Yukels would agree to help me pull the cable. I'd look totally ridiculous. Kate Walker, I don't like the idea at all. Go on, Oscar. I'm only doing this for you, you know. There, there. Hello, little Yukos. No need for alarm. Nanook Metal! Tuk tuk! Thank you. To be sure, Kate Walker. It's much too heavy. I'm gonna need some help to pull it to the train. Hi there. Kunukmat, tuk tuk. My name is Kate Walker, and you are Nanuk Metal. Tuk tut na. Nanuk tuk tut. Nanuk metal. Tuk tut na. Huh? I hope it isn't me you're scared of. Bek nanuk metal. Bek bek. Tuk tut na na. Na. Tuk tut. Yeah, I'll remember that one. You don't understand me? Makti jak. Bek nanuk metal na. Uh, I've got to say, I don't understand much either. Look, my friend Oscar can't be an evil spirit. He's wearing this pretty good spirit mask. Kulet, tuk tut. Oh yeah, couldn't agree more. He looks way less dangerous like that. You saw, Oscar isn't dangerous. So will you help me now, please? The cable is too heavy for me. Gane muk, gane muk, tuk tuk. 